here with Colby and Cameron McAllister of the Clearbrook Wolverines. How you doing today, gentlemen? Good, good. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I am doing well. So let's uh, start with uh, Colby. So we're just getting out of this um, crazy lockdown time. What what did were you able to do during those two three months we were locked down to stay in shape? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I've been physically preparing my body. And my brother was fortunate enough to have a weight room in our garage actually. So we've been just lifting and lifting. And with our new coaching staff, we've been staying mentally prepared too studying like the new plays, the new formations, getting mentally and physically prepared. All right. Cameron, I assume much of the same? Uh, yeah, we've been really meeting some of our teammates out at the field, meeting some speed and agility work in, and uh, been working new concepts with this new staff. And, uh, yeah, just getting right. So um, now you're finally getting to get face-to-face -face with your – well, six feet apart but face to face with your coaches and your and your teammates what does that mean to you Cameron? oh yeah it means a lot especially since we have a new staff getting to see everybody in person and not over zoom screen and uh getting to see our teammates from over this time getting to build that chemistry back it is great colby yeah yeah we're building that team bond back we got some new players coming in transfers and starting to get to know them more, getting to know our new coaches, and everybody's stepping up, and it's been real good. We're communicating well. Okay. Um, number one moment so far in sports, Colby? I would have to say coming back from my injury, I had a concussion last season, and I was able to win an all-district award. I was able to win second team all-district, so that meant a lot to me. And I came back from that injury strong last three games, and I was able to pull through, and I ended up winning the second team all district. Okay. Cameron? Just being able to start on varsity as a sophomore at quarterback, you don't really see that too often. True. Okay, so you're lined up on the field. You look over, you see the signals. Maybe you get a check down uh, or an adjustment you see the other team lining up and at that point you get excited because you know you've got a chance to really make something happen on this play. What does that look like for you, Cameron? Uh, yeah, well, I would say when I see a defensive back man up on one of our receivers, I get excited because I, I know my receivers are able to make a play, make a play on the ball in the air and I can make certain throws. Okay, Colby? Yeah, I'm with Cam on that. I like to uh, man up and be aggressive on receivers. I want them to be the first one to put hands on and just ride him the whole time and then make a play, good play on the ball in the air. Okay, uh, top thing you're working on to improve your game, Colby? The biggest thing for me last year as a sophomore on varsity, I would have to say is patience. I need to work on my patience. So, like, the main thing we're taught as a secondary player is nothing gets behind you. Keep everything in front of you. So, for instance, the ball gets past the D-line. The linebackers are there. The, the ball gets past the linebackers. The secondary is there. But at the secondary, nothing is behind us. We have no help. So, we got to keep everything in front of that and everything in front of us. So, how do you do that? Um, you have patience. And you just react. Don't anticipate. Okay, Cameron? Uh, I have to say uh, escaping the pocket more and making a play when the, uh, when the pocket collapses. Yeah, so I have to say that. Okay, uh, top personal goal for 2020, Cam? Um, I would say winning unanimous first team all district at quarterback. Colby? Yeah, I would have to say second team, it was good. But this year, I'm going for first team. I'm going for it all. I want to be known as one of the best players in CSISD. So I'm going for it all. I'm going to work hard to get that. OK, next one, we'll split up offense and defense, since we have it that way. Uh, so Kobe, uh, defensive teammates, you think you're going to have a Im big impact on the Wolverines? 
Uh, one of our main defensive uh, impacts this year season is probably going to be Roshan Morgan. He moved in actually from Dell Valley in Austin. He's a safety, and he played the last three games of our season. He actually helped us get uh, two of those wins in those last three games. So he's a great impact. He's a hard hitter, and he knows how to play ball. Hey, Cameron, offensive side. I would have to say um, Jason Price, he had a season-ending injury last year, but he's ready. He's come back and for his senior season to make big plays and go somewhere and not have to stay uh, – Lacey as well. Okay. Uh, plans for after high school, Cameron? Uh, I plan on going to a four-year university and studying um, business communications. Okay. What What do you want to use uh, the business communications degree to do? Uh, probably to be a, a collegiate coach somewhere. Okay. Colby? Uh, yes, sir. I plan on attending Florida University, too, and I would like to study computer engineering. Yeah, I've always been good at math and science, so the programming route is the route I want to go. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you for your time today, and definitely hope we get to see the Wolverines take the field this fall. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us.